Hi, and this week we'll cover energy homeostasis and energy balance. Now, as you may know already, energy balance describes the balance between energy intake and energy expenditure. And it's a very important topic that forms the basis for our understanding of weight gain and obesity. And we'll start out by looking a bit more into the regulation of food intake. It's actually quite fascinating how most people are able to almost perfectly match energy intake to their energy expenditure, at least on the long term. And you will read text and study cartoons that will teach you the basics of hunger and satiety. And next you'll spend quite a bit of time on the energy value of nutrients. Fats, proteins and carbs, they provide energy. They provide calories. But how does that work? And how did we figure out that one gram of carbohydrate contains four calories and nine calories for one gram of fat? You will watch a video that will explain how we got to those numbers, the so-called Atwater factors. And some people say a calorie is a calorie. But what do we mean with that? And is it really true? Now, energy intake is balanced by energy expenditure. And during this week, you'll read text, study graphs, and answer questions on the topic of energy expenditure. And did you actually know that about 60 to 70% of our daily energy expenditure is covered by maintenance? And that physical activity only takes up about 30 to 40%, at least for most of us. Now, how can we increase energy expenditure? Well, basically, there are two ways. By building muscle or by being more physically active. And obviously, these two are somewhat interrelated. Now finally, this week, you'll gain insight into the energetics of weight gain and weight loss. Now many people experience that when you reduce your energy intake, the weight loss progressively slows down. Now why is that? Well, you will see. So all in all, this is going to be a very energetic week. And at the end, you'll know all about energy homeostasis energy balance, and like in the other weeks, we will be tested at the end by a section exam. Have a good week.